Hello, my name is Nathan Coyle and I am one of the developers behind iSendWell. Welcome to this digital launch event. It's a very conversational video looking at some of the points of the fund and what we're looking for, how much you can apply for and of course when the deadline is. There are things available out there right now and the links are in this YouTube video or if you go to our website at iSendWell.org.uk. But hopefully this can have a bit more of a debate of uh, some of the points and hopefully uh, if there are any confusion this will dispel some of that. So what is it? Before we go on to the actual Accelerator Fund, uh, iSandwell is a uh, project that's been funded by Sandwell Council to look at um, how we can improve digital and the use of digital in the region. So we're using uh, innovation to look at that. So that is helping citizens and communities to, to do more online and use more online to, to better their lives like employability and, 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 and whatnot. But also uh, helping third sector organisations to upskill and uh, use, you know, improve the power of uh, them using digital to get their message out there and excel the excellent work that they already do. We believe uh, one of the best ways to do this is uh, hands-on. Uh, um, working with them and we've been uh, running workshops with the I Send Well Academy and uh, this is another way that um, we're, we're kind of looking into it as well. Uh, this is an accelerator program uh, so the point of that is uh, it will be a, a project that, that people will be working on but alongside that we will be you know, mentoring and uh, helping people to, to learn new skills and um, take that back to their organisation. So, of course, funding and mentorship to develop your ideas that enhance the use of digital in Sandwell. Okay, so let's now look at uh, what can we fund and what we're looking for. So, mobile applications, online community projects, digital campaigns, so that could be uh, social media. Um, campaigns or hashtag campaigns, volunteer programs. It doesn't have to be uh, an actual digital project. Um, it can be something physical, but it does need to have a digital uh, aspect to it. So it, you could, for example, run a campaign uh, or you could run a volunteering project of training people around digital um, that gets other people online. Community-focused and uh, sandbar-centric and that's um, fairly obvious and um, it has to be a new idea that has not received funding before so um, that's basically the point of the project that I accelerate and that's how we can measure from our end uh, at the end of the project and so again if you're looking at this screen right now um, what we really want to put across there is be realistic with what you can deliver for the money, for one, and the time frame. Uh, it doesn't have to be some massive all singing or dancing mobile application or you know via virtual reality. If, if you want to do that in that time zone, you are completely welcome to do that, but we do need to know that what you can uh, actually deliver is realistic. Um, we, you know, we want to see in this, um, obviously, a lot of cool projects, but we want to uh, collect a story, a narrative, and um, from start to finish. So that's why we're asking for new projects. So we, for our end, we can document that and use it as a journalistic kind of way. But in return, you get training, funding, and a project that that's yours. That's just basically we use uh, I Sand Well to. Um, to, to showcase it and kind of use that as a demonstrator of some of the stuff that's going on within the region. The details, okay let's move on to that. Uh, you can apply for up to £2,500. Now you, you haven't got to apply for the whole of the money um, but that's your maximum you can apply for. In the fund uh, application you will see we'll ask for a breakdown of uh, what you're going to use the money for. So if you have a day rate or, um, uh, for your staff or if you've got a rent kit or buy kit or you need printing uh, and, and whatnot and hosting, don't forget digital uh, aspects as well um, just mark that down and then tally it up uh, and you must um, have a project lead available between March and June 
to attend at least four one-to-one -one sessions. Now, that is the accelerator part of the project. Uh, they will be mentored by me, and uh, I will work closely with the people. And the reason why I'm saying could be them, you could be a project manager or um, a director of a third sector organisation. You might have someone in mind that you will want to put forward to work on this project or deliver that uh, thing that you you actually want to get out there with this. Um, okay. The Project League will be mentored by iSandwell, again that would be me, and they will also be responsible for documenting your progress via written and video blogs. Um, because it's a accelerator programme again, they will be supported and helped by me, I will be working closely with them. Um, the people who are working on this project, are, d are delivering that project, don't have to be journalistic savvy, I, I will support you or those, the, the people you nominate. Uh, to work on this project uh, all the way. They will also be inducted into the I Sandwell Fellowship, which is a yearly cohort of people that will act as champions for the project. And the reason why I'm calling it um, and the I Sandwell Fellowship is uh, these will be promoted on the I Sandwell website and that will be a uh, yearly, a yearly thing that we'd like to do. One of the things we want to uh, put across as well is, again, um, talking about a project, the I Sandwell Academy, which is me. Uh, or other staff developing uh, workshops for uh, local third sector organisations. The hope would be your um, nominees will conduct some of those workshops and it could be around uh, one of the workshops that were already delivered already or about the learning on um, on their journey within the iSandwell Accelerator. And again those people uh, will be supported to do those things but it's also to act as a champion and they can talk about, um, again, their journey throughout the whole of their digital experience. And, and again, from your organisation as well, it's a really good way to, to train and uh, share knowledge. Uh, your team maybe, your team member sorry, will learn about open data, civic technology, smart city thinking and bring new skill sets to your team again. So that is um, new things that these people will learn on the accelerator program but these kind of knowledge is really good to take back to your organization as well it's about leaving a, um, a, a legacy and building an infrastructure and we believe to do that a new digital infrastructure and new ways of thinking people are the best way to do that and that touches back to uh, a fellowship because these people can also connect and collaborate and it could also lead to other things as well. You might, as a collective, go for different funds and bigger funds and whatnot and using this as a power base within the region to do that. Uh, you must have a tangible project at the end of the programme which we'll present at the project celebration event which we will hold at the end to talk about the journey and, and, and collect some of that data. So again, that just basically touches upon um, being realistic with what you, you want to do um, people have different skills. We also don't expect that every organisation will have some techie whiz or some brilliant coder and whatnot. It doesn't have to be, um, again, coming back to that, some, some massive uh, mobile application that's, um, that's really off the wall. It does have, you do have to obviously you know, think out the box and, and do something original and new. Um, but think about what's what you can actually do within your organisation, what that person can actually do within the skill set. It's more of a way to train people and bring those skills to them. But we do also want them to, to help them to deliver a project. And again, being a an accelerator programme, you will be supported. You will get help working on that by other people who are working on the accelerator and also myself um, to kind of plug those gaps. So... Don't worry too much about you know doing something that's absolutely out of out of your realms, and or, or don't feel intimidated by going for the bid as well. You can um, if you if you want to talk to us about anything, you can email us at hello at isandwell.org.uk or tweet us at isandwellhq or use the hashtag isandwell hashtag on on Twitter, and I'll get back to you and answer those questions. Don't be afraid to approach us and have a bit of a conversation first. Now the deadline is Wednesday the 14th of February at 12pm and what will happen then, uh, we will look at those um, applications 
and we will put them to the uh, Ice Sandwell Commissioning Group and they will make a final decision on who gets awarded the funding so Ice Sandwell or the council don't actually um, make a decision on who gets the funding it's community groups and community leaders and decision makers and you will be notified pretty soon after after that date uh, to help to prepare you to get into, into the next stage and that's it again if you do have any questions please do uh, far away um, you can again get us on social media or, or the email that we've just said I'll put these in the, um, the comment section of this video uh, you can also use that comment section to uh, ask any questions and whatnot and I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as possible but good luck and um, I'm really excited about this project and I'm really excited to, to bring some new projects to the region working with you and your knowledge, your amazing knowledge and I think we're going to do something really cool. So thank you and hear from you soon.